everyone thank you for tuning in i'm you are instructor joy thank you very much for your continued support i really really appreciate so today we are going to talk about our pinky our pinky is one of the little guy that's um that often gives us trouble often when we try to play any note with a fourth finger uh, it's hard to make it in tune often we're a little flat and sometimes when we stretch it, it still seems like it's not enough and we often get really frustrated. So in this video, I'm going to show you, I explain it to you the, the basic motions of the um, pinky or finger in general. And also we'll show you the exercises that will help you to strengthen your fourth finger so that your pinky can work as well as the rest of the strong fingers. And um, also please check out my Patreon page. It's coming Thursday. The links can be found in the description below. I'll be posting more exercise videos for the fourth finger um, so that you can um, keep making your fourth finger even stronger. Okay, so let's understand what kind of left hand finger motion they are. There are two types of finger motion. So vertical, so falling fingering. Yeah. Or trilly. So those are we call it vertical motion or dropping or falling motion. And another finger motion is horizontal motion. So when we use it, sliding fingers, or we call it glissando, or or even shifting like that. So there are two types of motion. Now when it comes to fourth finger. Um, using fourth, the fourth finger, we use both. So dropping or the vertical motion or sometimes horizontal motion sliding as well. And often when we do from harmonics, that's when we do um, sliding or the horizontal motion. Whereas, like I said before, when you use trill, that's when we use more um, vertical motion. Yeah, so now, when it comes to fourth finger stretching or using fourth finger, there are two ways of doing it in a big way. One always could go one could go always into details, but I'm gonna just categorize that two types of fourth finger motion. One is just when when you make sure you place your left hand nice and healthy way, which means left hand under the violin, make sure nothing is bent on an awkward way, left wrist straight like that. And then once you do that one. When you place both all four fingers, let's say in the key of A major. This fourth finger is often hard to make it into a lot of um, a lot of beginner steps, especially end up making a little flat. Start something like that, and we're trying to stretch and something. It seems like it's a little hard. The first one you want to try is see if you can turn your hand or turn your uh, pinky. Uh, turn your left hand towards a pinky like that. Just physically bringing your hand towards a pinky to make sure the pinky can reach a little farther. So motion is just this one, yeah? Like that, just turning. So simply just bring a little towards a pinky. So simple motion, whoops, like that. So let's say if you turn it and it's still not enough. Another thing that you could do is just raise your left hand a little higher to the ceiling up to the sky yeah what it does is by raising your left hand up to the sky you're lengthening your pinky it allows to be able to curve it therefore you have a little better control yeah that's one way of doing it second way of doing it is just simply stretching it without turning or moving any part of your hand so you you would you would leave all three fingers let's say same key now i'm going to play for e flat and then just, just stretch so in this case, the rest of the hand stays somewhat same. The pinky being from curved to the stretch one. This kind of fingering can be useful when um, when you're playing that note with a fourth finger voice just for a short time or harmonics. Uh, there's also another one um, that you use stretched or somewhat straightened pinky when it comes to tenth. Let's say the interval of tenth. Interval of tenth is played. And then, in this case, we're not stretching pinky forward, but rather we're stretching our hand backwards with the index finger, which end up the pinky being stretched like... Yeah, that's 10. Or finger octave. In this case,
is second and third finger, the pinky bing stretch. But this kind of re uh, reverse stretching is topic for another video, I'll do that. But let's focus on for today, a simple fourth finger stretching, forward stretching, either by just stretching just the fourth finger or turning your entire left hand towards a pinky and even raise that one, okay. So now let's focus on the first one. So which is turn your left hand, and then also focusing on the vertical motion, yeah? This is very important because if you want to have a fast passages or trilling, that's extremely important. So make sure when you do that, the pinky is somewhat curved. For a player with a smaller hand, it can be a little hard. If you're, ha if you're having a hard time curving your pinky, see if you can raise your hand up to the sky a bit, a bit more. When you do that, make sure you're, you don't raise your index finger, but rather towards the towards a pinky, yeah? So simple exercise goes like this. Any string works, but zero, one, three, four. We're gonna start with E flat, then E natural. I like to do zero, one first, just so that we can play in tune, just listening each note very carefully. Now one, now three, now turn your hand towards a pinky to support pinky a bit more, and then E flat right next to third finger. Again, zero, one, three. Turn your left hand towards the pinky, E flat. And stay there a couple more times. Like that. So, now once you're done, then your left hand, learn how to frame your left hand properly to support the pinky. Then you do this time with the E natural. Zero, one, three. Now when you play fourth finger, you're gonna stretch a little farther, which means between third and fourth finger to whole step, there's a little more room, and still the vertical motion, so you're dropping the finger, but make sure you, you turn your pinky towards, you, you turn your left hand towards the pinky to support a little more. So zero, one, three, four. Turn your hand. Now, here, I'm leaving all my fingers, one, three, and four. But let's say you're doing this one, but you're having a hard time to play, to play the fourth finger in tune. Then see if you can lift up your first finger. Once you release the first finger, you will soon see you can use third finger as an anchor and then you can stretch quite far, yeah? So if you're having a hard time, feel free to lift the first finger. Now, turn your hand. You're, let's say you're having a hard time, then lift up. I can go even further. You don't have to go that far, but just to show you how far I can go when I lift up my first finger, yeah? And then you would stay there a couple more times. Yeah, that would be a great, great uh, vertical finger motion exercise. Now let's work on the uh, horizontal exercise, sliding motion. So let's go, same thing, one, zero, three, but this time we're gonna place from E flat and slide it fourth finger here, where practicing just stretching the pinky without moving the rest of the hand or without adjusting it. So zero, one, three, E flat, and then stretch, E natural. Back, again, back to E flat, and then E natural. Here, remember, we're practicing the horizontal motion of the pinky, so don't lift up and replace that one, because that's something different exercise. Yeah, so stay that one, sliding finger, keeping the finger on the string. Now, we use both motions, uh, horizontal and vertical uh, movement. Sometimes we use at the same time, so that's why it's important for all of us to train all this way, yeah? So now I hope this video was helpful, and with patience, with that repetition, you can always strengthen your pinky and you will see how far you could push with your pinky. But like anything, like any training with uh, what anything has to do with our muscle, we have to give certain amount of time. Unlike our brain, our muscle needs certain amount of time in order to master. Yeah, just keep that in mind and I wish you lots of fun and great success with your pinky training. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again. Bye bye.